Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Eating Corner. We have Qua 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 Qua, which is actually fantasy. I believe this is confirmed to be fantasy. Upper right hand corner as the Blue Terran. Bottom right hand corner, we have DeWalt starting as the Teal Protoss. This is going to be on Polypoid. And this is going to be kind of an interesting one, both directions. One, DeWalt is, so he is slid into the professional scene where he's going to be able to play as part of the New Worlds uh, tournament where they're showing some new custom maps. Unfortunately, his group is rather rough. He's got Action. He's got Royal, who he's in the same group with. Um, and I think there's a third... I can't remember what the third player in his group was, but I'm not sure if I recognize them overall. But point being, he's going to be playing against legitimate pro gamers. And we'll see how that goes. I'm rooting for him. I wish I could cast those games. I was actually invited to do it, but I can't do it because I uh, have too many other work responsibilities and things in the background, which actually makes me super sad. But such is life. Um, such is life. This isn't my full-time job, so go figure. Um, I really want to see DeWalt win a game or two. Or at least pull a game. And really what it'll be interesting to see is, is what level... And unfortunately, it'll be challenging versus Royal, uh, for example. But if you can pull a game or at least make it look good versus action, it'll be a big boon for the foreigner community, as he has been... Uh, not a BSL, I think he's won BSL at least once, but he's taken a lot of second places. Point being, he's one of the top foreigners out there, and it feels like that gap keeps getting smaller and smaller. Anyhow, wish I could cast it, not going to be able to. Looks like we're seeing an immediate barracks and refinery, which suggests we're going to see some early factory play, which is very, very much in Fantasy's MO. We are seeing the dreaded 12 Nexus play from DeWalt bottom right, which I actually find interesting because he is actually... I think been quoted as saying that he felt like the 12th... Oh, and it's going to get scouted right off, isn't it? We'll see if this goes cross position, but it looks like it's going to get scouted at, at first position. But I remember him actually saying that he doesn't like 12 Nexus as an opener, generally, these days, because he feels like it still puts Protoss in a defensive position in a negative situation as far as the long game uh, overall. But he's got to not feel good about seeing that SCV come across and get that first scout. So seize the Nexus. And on top of that, the gas is mining... The gas is flowing to be able to respond to this in time. And this is fantasy of all people. And fantasy made a career out of creating clever, clever early game pushes and things like that and adjustments. And DeWalt actually also getting rejected from the scout. So he's not even going to know what's coming at him. Not that it matters. I think he has to know that it's going to be some form of aggression overall. SCV remaining alive. It's going to be able to, it looks like there's going to be a forge response from DeWalt. A simulator drop that SCV is going to be able to see that it's a forge response, and this is going to be a challenging, challenging defense for DeWalt. See if he puts cannons over that high ground, but at least, yeah, moving, transitioning with that, that the Marines actually pulling out of the corner. DeWalt's going to be able to thread through, and with just a sliver of health, no, oh, he's going to back out. Okay, never mind. Thought a second that he might be able to make the angle and go for it. It looks like it's going to be a classic two factory push to start, trying to push back in from and look how far back this probe is being pushed just by the two marines incredible micro and positioning overall first photon cannon being morphed in a zealot making its way across the field i think maybe he's just wanting to get some form of scouting information the probe's been wiped out now we're going to see some of that potential classic pro gaming micro second zealot out on the field might even need a shield battery honestly with these photon cannons so the three marines currently gathering up the three marines with decent micro will beat that zealot and believe me, Fantasy has that decent micro. First Siege Tank, and it's probably going to be that classic Siege Tank, Vulture Speed, uh, usually, what is it, one... Sometimes with the initial Siege Tank, it'll be with five Marines. This time we're seeing four Marines overall. I don't see a fifth Marine being produced. And we're going Siege Tech instead, maybe in response to the cannons. Because I believe that might have been... Yeah, so I guess going Siege Tech upon seeing that... That makes sense. Three gateways behind this, Cybernetics Core warping in. Four Marines, a Siege Tank, and Vulture to support. And interestingly enough, yeah, we'll see if DeWalt actually gets enough of an army to maybe defend this. Four Marines, that Vulture is going to push those Zelts behind that cannon line where he has to defend. He does need some sort of answer for those Siege Tanks. He's going to be very light on the Dragoons to be able to pick it off, and he's not going to have Zelt leg speed as well for quite some time to be able to engage it. So now the Marines and the Vulture are able to create that forward established line to keep the zealots back to allow that siege tank to get towards the front and hold things. SCVs in the wings to provide some repair, maybe even get 
a bunker up. They're waiting along that corner. First Dragoon produced. Three gateways now humming. And Fantasy, with that cannon cleared, looking to establish a forward line, but immediate sweep by DeWalt, pulling the probes out. Siege on the high ground, but the Zealots right on top of the Marines, not able to get on top of that first siege tank. Probes joining the fray as well. And are the probes going to be able to get the siege tank? Probes just bare. Okay, get the siege tank, but lose a lot of their numbers in the meantime. DeWalt still has the economic lead, but has lost the rest of his attack force, and there's too much of an attack force left. So quick win by fantasy. It was a difficult position for DeWalt to be in in the first place, but wish him luck in the new worlds. I should have talked more about fantasy, but I'll do a couple more fantasy replays here regardless. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.